Kedah, question. The following question represent the reaction between magnesium and oxygen. 2Mg plus O2 make into 2MgO, which is already balanced. Which of the following statement is correct? A. Two moles of magnesium atom react with two moles of oxygen to produce two moles of magnesium oxide. Oh. Where is the mistake? A is wrong. Yeah. Why do we know it's wrong? Because it says here, two moles of oxygen. Okay, ataupun dua mole atom oxygen. How do we look at the number of moles? Look at the number in front. Okay, the sincere in front of O2 is written there, no number. No number also means one. Okay, so this is wrong. Huh? It is supposed to be two mole of Mg added with one mole of O2 make into two moles of MgO. Okay, next one. B. 24 grams of magnesium atoms react with one mole of oxygen molecules to produce two moles of magnesium oxide. So you are given the information in gram. Um, you know that your job is to compare the number of moles. Okay, kita telah diberikan bilangan mole sini, bilangan mole sini, tapi ini tidak diberikan dalam bentuk mole. So you must first convert this into mole. Alright, so to convert 24 grams into number of moles, you will definitely utilize the formula of N equals to M over MM, mass over molar mass, where you get N equals to 24 grams over the molar mass of Mg24. That will give you answer of 1. So he says here, one mole, okay, you can basically substitute the word 24 grams for the word one mole. So basically, one mole, okay, of magnesium atoms react with one mole of oxygen to produce two moles. So you already know that it is wrong. Kenapa wrong? Because here is two mole. Equation says two mole. You only have one mole of reactants or of the material you have. So you is you cannot make it. It's wrong. Okay? B is wrong. C. 6.02 times 10 power 23 magnesium atoms react with 3.01 times 10 power 23 oxygen molecules to produce two moles of magnesium oxide. Okay? So we need to do some conversion first. Okay? First, we need to convert magnesium atoms to number of moles. Okay? So this one will utilize the formula N equals to number of particles over Avogadro's constant. Our logarithm constant 6.02 times 10 power 23. Okay, so you can see they have given you actually a very convenient number. If you put 6.02 times 2, 10 power 23 magnesium atoms on top and the same on the bottom, you will get one. So basically one mole here. Okay, you can change that as one mole. Uh, from, from, from the answer here, they say one mole agak-agak already salah lah. Yeah, because in the equation, the beginning, they already give you two moles. Here, they give you one mole. Something is wrong. But either way, let's continue. So this one, 3.01 times 10 power 23 over by 6.02 times 10 power 23. Answer should be 1 over 2, which is half, yeah, uh, 0.5 mole. All right. So it says here, one mole react with 0.5 mole to produce two mole. Now, let us multiply this. Is it correct? Wrong lah. It's wrong lah. 1 mole compared to 0 0.5 compared to 2. Huh? Up here, the equation says 2 compared to 1 compared to 2. 2, 1, 2. Here is 1, 0 0.5, 2. You see? Not, wrong, not correct. Wrong. Up there, 2, 1, 2. 2, 1, 2. Here, 1, 0 0.5, 2. Tak jadi, kena multiply. Multiply, so is, is, you want to multiply, everything is wrong. So. Eh, si salah. Ah, si salah. Ah. Eddie, one mole of magnesium atom react with 0 0.5 mole of oxygen to produce one mole. Ah, this one got hooked. This one got hooked. This one got hooked. How do I know got hooked? Because 1 compared to 0 0.5 compared to 1 is as if 2 compared to 1 compared to 2. Ah. Divided by two, uh, half lah, uh, half, half of everything, half. Ah, so answer apa ni? So number of moles is all about a ratio also. Like I said, it's about like a recipe to make the cake. Ah, if you got ten egg, can make one cake. 
twenty eight can make two kick. Ah, uh, you uh, play with the ratio like that. Depends lah on how many number of kick you have lah. You can play with it lah. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, for for formula of ion or x and y is uh, x three plus y two negative. Which of the following equation represents the reaction between x and y? Okay, so uh, what what is the approach here? First things first, check what is the product that you are creating. Okay, sebab kita dapat lihat hasil. Okay, dalam empat persamaan line. Okay, here is x two y three. Here is x two y. Here is x three y two. Are these two same? Likely is the correct one. Okay, this one two different. So how do we do? Do the crossing first. X three plus two uh, y two negative. You crisscross this x two y three. Uh, this supposed to be your product x two y three. Wow, that means this one out no. This one out no. This one out no. I thought it's between C and D. <laughs> Who knows? Oh. This one you know is wrong lah. Ah, uh, if you see got two here means you know is wrong already because here they given to you one atom is y two negative without ah uh, is in atom form. I mean singular ion. Ah, uh, so here they put two already wrong. Ah, uh, here is the wrong. Here is where is wrong. Ah, uh, here these two switch is wrong. Uh, this one memang wrong lah. X two y. Ah, uh. okay. Equation below represents the reaction to extract aluminium from aluminium oxide. You are going to learn this in form five, chapter one. Right? How to extract aluminium from aluminium ore? Actually, from from three you learn a little bit already. Okay, using the electrodes. Okay, we remove the aluminium, split them from the oxygen. Anyway, what is the mass of aluminium that can be extracted from one o two grams of aluminium oxide? Now, this looks like a three-step question. Three-step question. Ah, uh, three-step question. Remind you again for the third week. First step: find the number of moles of what you are dealing with. As in, what are you trying to find? What are you trying to have? Or what are you trying to get? Number two: compare the number of moles, okay, with the ratio you are given. And number three: find out is it the mass you want? Is it the volume you want? Ah, uh, three steps. First step. Okay, so. Already balance ah two Al two O three make into four Al plus three O two. You are given one O two gram of this. You want to find out what is the mass of this you getting ah. So first let us use n equals to m over mm to convert one O two into number of moles. So n sama dengan satu kosong dua over over molar mass. So the molar mass of Al two O three is a RFM relative formula mass ah. Two aluminiums plus with the three oxygen. Now, please be very careful here. Do not do not multiply by two. Some students they are still confused. Multiply these two here. No, relative formula mass looks at the formula itself only. No looking at number of moles. This one leave aside. This one you will leave it for step two. Ah, uh, well some students they take this thing and multiply by two again. They say teacher got two here actually two 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 of this formula no R F M only or molar mass we only focus on one only not two ah uh, regardless of the number they put there doesn't matter ah uh, okay so from here you get your number of mole equal to please everyone don't sit there like statue huh? if you uh if your calculator in front of you punch together with me whoever is fast let me know. Okay, if you sit down there waiting for me, only I'm I'm uh, that means I'm doing a comedy show. Okay, then I better get a uh, I better get a slot at the um, at the uh, convention center. I can do a comedy show. All right, one mole. Okay, second step now comparison. Okay, your equation tell you two moles of Al two O three. Can turn into four moles of Al. So here, given one mole of Al two O three, you should be getting uh, two is to four double. One is to two. All right. Step three: convert these two back into aluminium. So n equals to m over mm also. Two mole equal to m 
over molar mass of AL, which is a 27. So 27 times 2, that will be 54. And then, C. Following equation shows the complete combustion of propane gas. Don't need to know the reaction for now. This one you will learn next year in Form 1, Chapter form 5, Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Uh, what is the mass of water produced when 2.1 gra grams of propane gas is burned completely? Okay, also, it is a very straightforward three-step question. Ah, so, you are given, you have 2.1 gram of this. This one is called propane. Eh? Okay, and you want to find what is the mass of water produced, this one. Okay, so, first step. Seems that it's balanced already. Lah, huh? So, first step. Okay, calculate how much of propane you are using so 2.1 okay n equals to m over mm mass over molar mass n equals to mass 2.1 gram over molar mass of c3h6 again do not include the two if relevant three carbon plus with six hydrogen if you press with me you will realize the underlying logic behind why we do things yeah if you sit there and wait for answer you will never realize the reason why we press these numbers okay so seems that you have got 0 0.05 mole of c3h6 step two comparison in the equation oh you can write like i said yeah? from the equation okay i always have the habit if it's a structure question chapter two uh, sorry, paper 2, structure question. Please put it in the word from the equation. Given that you have 2 moles of C3H6 is able to make 6 moles of H2O, 0 0.05 of C3H6 should make into uh, 2 to 6 is multiplied by 3. You see? 2 to 6 is multiplied by 3. So 0 0.05 multiplied by 3, I should get a 0 0.1. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then step three. Compare now. Okay. N equals to M over MM. 0 0.15 equals to M over 2H and 1O. So M equals to 0 0.15 really if that if i tell you are honest honest uh, honest uh, honest uh, if three step you are unable to do uh, please figure out yeah three step moving forward uh, moving forward this will appear in every single chapter let me tell you every maybe four or five less six onwards this will appear almost every question Okay, if you don't know three step, it is like not knowing the multiplication table. It's like not knowing the rules of a fraction. It's like not knowing the multiplication itself. Okay. Then you cannot proceed. Okay, all right. So if there is anything that is an obstacle to you now, it is this three step question. Master before you move on, okay?